Hi everyone, in today's video I will do a review of some Fontaine Pens ink starting with the Pelican 401 Royal Blue ink after that I will review the Parker Queen ink blue black and I will also review the Waterman Serenity uh, blue ink In the case of the Pelican ink, I've been using it a lot. I do like the royal blue color of it and also the different tones that it has. For this review I will use a normal paper, as I think that most of you use normal paper. This paper is from the Amber brand and it's a 100 grams one. Uh, for this review I will also use a Jinhao Fontaine pen, which is a Chinese brand. This one is a Jinhao X750 with a medium nib. I've been using it uh, for a long time now and I am very pleased with the quality, especially considering its price point. Starting with the Pelican 401 uh, Royal Blue Ink. This is a Pelican 401 Royal Blue Ink. It dries relatively quickly and uh, has some uh, color variation, as you can see. The color variation is uh, very noticeable, as it changes from a dark blue to an almost black blue. Continuing, it's time to the Parker Quick Blue Black Ink. This ink does take some uh, time to dry out and it is darker than the Pelican 4001 It has some tone variation, as you can see, and it could also say that uh, the trace variation is more intense than the Pelican one. The color has some tones of dark green, as you can see, uh, giving an appearance of an old ink. Last but not least we have the Waterman Serenity Blue ink. This ink takes more time to dry out, as, as you can see, and it has less tone variation than the other two inks. But we can still notice some tone variation. Comparing the three inks, I can say that the Parker ink is the darkest one, and it has a different blue tone than the other ones. If you are looking for some tone variation, I will suggest the Pelican or the Parker one, as they are the ones with the most tone variation. But if you are looking for a more common color with almost no variation, then the Waterman Serenity Blue Ink is the, the ink for you. I hope you find that video useful. Uh, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.